What's up guys, Sunny here and welcome back to a new video here on my channel. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually did a knife unboxing a while back. Fade sent me some more knives and I decided on making another review because I found it a lot of fun the last time and you guys seemed to like it a lot. In fact, it got like over a million views, which is totally insane. Like what? So yeah, this time I got a bunch of them. I got like several types and I'm really excited showing you guys these and actually seeing them myself as well. So yeah, the first one I'll unbox today is this one, which is an M9. I'm I'm quite excited about seeing how this looks, actually. We have a strap for the knife. Oh wow. I'll give you guys a close look of all the different knives. This right here is a M9 blue steel. This actually looks kind of cool because it is almost like purple. Like especially in this area right here as you can see. It's very shiny and I think this is my favorite skin for the M9. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention in my previous video that I got a lot of comments about is the fact that these knives are unsharpened. So they are sharp, but they're, you, can, you can't cut yourself. Or I mean, I cut myself in my previous video, which was stupid as heck. It's not like it's really sharp. It's just like I fucked up. You know, you can get paper cuts. I kind of got that just from the knife because it's really not sharp. It's unsharpened, so it's like safe to like, not safe to play with. I'm not saying that, but it's safe to like, touch like this because it's not sharp. I do believe you can sharpen them, but I don't know for sure. I do think you can sharpen them. I actually do want to try it in the future to actually see if it can cut through things. It would be super dope. Anyway, let's get to the other M9. I have a feeling this one will be pretty cool as well. As you can see right here, we have the M9 Gamma Doppler. I know this skin is quite popular and a lot of people really like it. Personally, it's not one of my favorites, but I think it looks super smooth, especially on the M9. This knife is actually very fun to play with as well, so yeah. I actually have a Steam group, so it would be super dope if you wanted to join my Steam group. The link is down in the description below, so make sure to do that if you have the time. Alright, I think it's time to move on to the next knife. Next up, we have a Karambit. It's a uh, Karambit Elite. I do believe I got one in the other video as well, so I'm really excited about seeing the skin on this one. It's all really just different skins. If this is what I think it is, it's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Right here we have the Chroma Doppler Black Pearl Elite. This one is one of my all-time favorite skins. It looks super cool. It could work very well if you actually sharpen it. So that's something you can do if you want to. I'm not sure if it's 100% legal. Actually, I won't take any chances on that. So if you decide on sharpening it, don't blame me if it's not legal, okay? I wish I owned this knife in game. That would be so freaking awesome. I feel like the Karambit is like the sharpest one. It's way sharper than the M9 that I showed previously. I actually got another Karambe as well, so uh, let's check it out, shall we? Okay, holy shit, that's cool. That's actually kind of cool. This one has a pretty dope pattern on it. This Karambe is called the Freehand Elite. The pattern is quite unique. Me personally haven't seen anything like this in game. But anyway, as you can see, it looks very professional. It's very high quality. And just like all the other knives, I actually think this is one of the best Counter-Strike replica knives I've ever seen. I like the design very much. I don't know if this actually exists in game. I haven't seen it before. So I don't know, comment down below. Do you know if this one actually exists in game? The next one is a knife that I haven't shown you guys before. It's a gut knife. Personally, I don't really like this too much like especially not in game i think they look kind of weird and too chunky and just in general weird looking i mean i don't have anything against them but i just think the shape of it is kind of weird all right this is what it looks like this right here is the gut sapphire skin personally one of my favorite things about this knife is the contrast between the handle and the actual knife i feel like the colors really match and i really like how it actually turns out like as the final result if i do a size comparison the gut knife is like all almost like the same size as the Karambit, but it's a lot heavier than the Karambit. So if you want like a solid knife, I'd really recommend this one. But it's all really about personal preference and the knives you like. Yeah, I feel like this one is sharper than the others. So I think it was a good idea to put on the cap there. I think this is the first time I've ever seen one of these in real life. So this is a moment, guys. <laughs> Comment down below, what do you actually think of this? Like, what is your opinion on gut knives? Okay, so this is the last knife that I have for you guys today. It's a flip knife. Uh, I love flip knives, so I'm super excited about seeing this one. Oh boy, nice. Oh my god. 
This right here is the Flip Knife Elite Doppler Phase 2. Everything about this is just so smooth and it goes together so freaking well. This is the only flip knife I've ever owned, so uh, <laughs> of course that's like a little thing that I need to mention, but I really think it looks great. Closing the knife is the interesting part here. If you don't have any experience with the knife, you might think that you can just push it down, but you cannot, and you can't have pushed any buttons here either. You have to actually push this little switch here to the side, like that, and then you can take it together. It's kind of cool, actually very cool. But the reason why I know this is because I watched a video on flip knives and <laughs> for some reason it just stuck to my hand, so I know. But guys, I got another small thing from Fade Case. It's actually kind of cool. This is the last thing that I am going to show you guys today. It's a very nice gadget. Actually, I really like this. You just have to fill it up with gas and you can use it as a lighter. As you can see, it works as a lighter, you just need to fill it up with the gas and yeah, it should work just fine. So yeah, that was all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more videos like this, make sure to smash the like button so that I know that you guys are interested. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. All the links are down in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!